What's going on everyone? Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. It is currently March 16th, so that is day two of summer shredding, day two of my cut, day two of my competition prep, whatever you will personally want to call it, but we're going to go ahead and step on the scale and see what I'm weighing in at. So yesterday I was 176, so we'll see how much I lost. I think I lost, I'm going to probably lose like a ton of weight just today because the water weight probably all came off. Um, every time I, you know, get back into the swing of things of counting macros and I'm even on a small deficit, it can even be small, I will just like lose a ton of weight, but we'll see. All right, check it out guys, 167.4. Oh my gosh, that is just insane. Hold on, let me go ahead and put my hat on because it is too early and I look a little too crazy right now. But 167.4, so we've dropped like nine pounds i can't do math right now again it's too early but yeah see i told you guys that always happens every time i get back into like even like 275 carb 200 protein 60 fat that's what i hit yesterday and i haven't been on like that low of macros in months so you know what i'll take it we're starting off strong <laughs> All right guys, so a little update on the day. Finished up with class, it's been around two hours and it's around 12 o'clock right now, so just hit noon. And I've had nothing but a lot of water and just crushed this little coffee guy right over here. And I'm gonna keep it that way, so I'm gonna keep fasting because I do practice intermittent fasting, right? But I'm gonna keep fasting for the next two to three hours and I think I'm gonna break my, my meal or my fast for my first big meal of the day, probably around like 2 p.m., 2.30. I plan on training at around 3.30, so I like to give it a good hour you know for it to settle in and uh, just kind of like you know I feel like full feel nice to the gym there's just thing every time I eat like a big meal after fasting for like six hours in the morning right and then I have to hit the gym what am I doing with my hat oh my gosh I'm sorry guys all right there we go that's better but anyway every time you know I fast for like six straight hours then I have like this big meal I don't really get like stu super super full because you know my stomach's already pretty empty so I can just wait an hour and hit a good session and I feel really good you know I feel like the food is really giving me that energy that I need. But anyway, I'm here at my ranch apartment. Currently finishing up today's video. Literally daily videos are gonna be the death of me guys. It is such a challenge and I'm on like day three. <laughs> All right, check it out guys. It is currently, what is it? 324, check it out, 324, March 16th. So I'm having my first meal of the day. Obviously it's gonna be a big one guys, just cause I have a lot going on. I'm actually going like, you know, partying a little bit and stuff like that. I'll take you all throughout the vlogs and be freaking epic. But yeah, I gotta kinda like get a lot of food in a short period of time cause I know I'm probably not gonna be eating too much late at night. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead, have like a huge meal right now. I think this is seven or eight egg whites. I completely forget and then two whole eggs some hot sauce on top Only some pepper and salt to season it and then I got the standard pro meal You cannot go wrong with this shit guys. I'm telling you try it out cinnamon Splenda some sea salt I put half a scoop away protein because this already has a shit ton of protein I don't really want to get more than like 70 grams in a meal So uh, we got half a scoop and then hundred and twenty grams of oats is gonna be extremely filling and I'm gonna hit the gym probably in like an hour and a half because I have to do like a test online. It's already 3.30, so I really gotta get rolling, guys. But anyway, we're gonna have that. I'm gonna go ahead, take some insulin, and that's it, man. That's it. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna take, get the day rolling, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit for the vlog. All right guys, so got that video uploaded. Next on the agenda, I'm sending out two packages. Somebody ordered two shirts, and then another person ordered one black and gold performance shirt. If you guys still wanna get these, by the way, they're a little bit on sale on the website. There's not much stock left at all, so it's kinda just like whatever's there. I think there's two sizes sold out on the black and gold performance shirt, and then there might be one or two sizes sold out on the cutoff, so check them out. We got some new stuff coming, like some epic stuff coming that I think everyone 
is gonna like cater towards. You know, these are more like specific, very brand based, but the next stuff I'm coming out with, I think like everybody's gonna wanna wear it, whether or not they watch my channel like consistently. So it's gonna be awesome. All right, so check it out guys. Just finished a massive amount of work. It is so freaking late right now, literally 721. And I'm gonna go ahead and crush one of these little like popcorners, chips things. And they're really, really good. Just pretty much carbs and fat. So six grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, two grams of protein, 130 calories. I'm gonna go ahead and grub on one of these just because my blood sugar was actually 96. So I'm not gonna take any insulin for this. Just wanted to go up a little bit right before I work out. But anyways, my roommates are like growing little bangers on right now because we're about to have like a big pregame in our apartment. Meanwhile, I'm going to the gym. Yeah, gains, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got the ambience, this is where I want it. And if you get paid, it's solely based on your performance. My ego is enormous, like my grip. Now you blaze, cause it's about to get. So we're currently at the gym, got the jams blasting. We're gonna go ahead and just blast through this workout because I'm in a huge rush right now. I have uh, other stuff to do right after the gym, which I'll show you guys in the vlog, but I really have to get this in right now. This is my second chest and arms workout of the week, so chest and arms B. And I hit the bench press, did 215 for five, then 245 pounds for three. Now I got 275 on the bar, so it's two and a half plates. And I'm gonna try to hit more than one rep. One rep is my max, and uh, that's kind of been like my PR in a way, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit two, but I have been on a big rush right now. Like I rested like what, two, three minutes per set. Usually I'd rest like four or five minutes so I was gonna hit like a heavy, heavy set like this and like go for a PR. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep this raw, all right? So we're gonna do like a little bit of a raw workout, get what I can and uh, just put the exercise in the rep range right here on the screen. And we're gonna make this raw. We're gonna, we're gonna make this real personal. Go. Probably could have pushed a sloppy second rep, but we're not gonna do that, guys. We're just keep it one super, super clean rep. And that was actually a PR. Remember last time? I'll put a clip of last time when I hit 275. Up, up, up. Push it up. Up. My butt was like so far up the bench and it just looks so ugly, but this is a lot cleaner form. It's what I talked about in my last video about different ways about hitting PR, so this really essentially was a PR. Now we're gone. Check it family, we're getting a little post-workout protein shake. You know, the brand is a smart off, I'm sponsored. All right guys, so totally did not get to show you guys everything that I did in the gym, because as y'all saw, had a little bit of a interruption here. <laughs> now my girlfriend's like all ready right now, and you'll see what's going on. But we got some good stuff, some liquid gold, and some other liquid gold. We got some white monsters in here, and then we're gonna be, we're gonna be getting a little some song, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, check it out. I don't you want to bet there's like a big banger going on in my apartment right now. Let's, let's just see. God damn! The lighting, good lighting, good light. Oh, shit. Check it out, guys. We're all ready. Got some white pants, Chelsea boots, movement watch, black rose, diabetic aesthetics 15, shameless plug, go save some guap. We're gonna have a good time. Summer training style. That's vibe. 
vibes, wanna vibe, that's a vibe, yeah, uh, that's a vibe, it's a vibe, and that's a vibe. Yeah. Alright fam, check it out. So we're drinking, it's summer shredding. A lot of you might be like, Seal, aren't you competing with your friends? No, I'm kidding, but no, seriously. So, we're still having fun, guys. It's the very beginning of the cut. And I just want to show you guys how you can drink in a manner to where you're not sending yourself back. Because at the end of the day, we're all here, but I am not going to sacrifice fun. That's why I feel like I'm going to you all. I just want to have a good time. And this whole journey is not about sacrifice, like I said, in like a million of my videos. So, check it out. If you want to drink the most efficient, calorically efficient way, get some vodka, whatever you like. I don't know, we got squirt off here. So, after the vodka, you do a little mix. All right, so a little vodka over here, a little monster over here, you know, zero calorie or whatever, zero calorie like diet drink, whatever you like or whatever you enjoy. And I usually like doing like a shot of vodka or like one or two shots of vodka, two shots, all right, two shots, so I don't look like too much of a girl. And then uh, I'll put like a cup or two of diet soda, have like maybe two, three mixtures or whatever. So you gotta be moderate, you can't be like, you know, being a fucking will be just all fucking night drinking, but hey, it's fun. I wanna show you guys the real. To all of them. So, cheers. Oh, it's a vibe, yeah. It's a vibe. Don't you lie. Got a vibe, make a tell you want for Carbon copies get declined. I'm the pioneer. Got a vibe, make a cougar want to spray. Yo, Matt, you won't? I won't. You won't. Yeah, I won't. You won't. And you put it in the fucking vlog, though. <laughs> Oh man, this is how you get your friends just trashed, guys. Just have a big YouTube channel. Scatter too hot at them, put the little bitch on the mile. She put every scatter too hot at them. Shot it on shot at them, nigga done caught him up. Shot it on shot at them, body. Scatter too hot at them, put the little bitch on some mile. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? So it is like midnight right now, and I am still on my goals man i'm about to hit my macros to the t so check it out i made a huge meal because as you guys have seen throughout the day i have only had one meal and then those little like popcorn or chips just because you know i had a lot going on with like a ton of work business work ton of school work i just like could not get my meals in and obviously i had some obligations to go have fun man you don't have to like take this so 110 serious and put everything out in the backboard you know when it comes to like social activities going out with your friends your girl whatever it may be so i didn't want to give up on that so it's midnight. I'm having a huge freaking meal, which is awesome. Well, honestly, like great in my part. Like you guys are gonna think I'm crazy because this is the same meal I had earlier today. Check it out. So I have 160 grams of oatmeal, a scoop and a half of whey protein, the usual salt Splenda, and then 10 egg whites, <laughs> four whole eggs. I know you guys are probably like, all right, this dude is fucking nuts. But hear me out here. It's midnight. I'm not gonna drive. I've had a few drinks, obviously. Like I'm not gonna go out of my way at midnight to go grab chicken and rice and stuff like that because I don't have any left in my fridge or anything like that. So I'm literally just have to do this to hit my macros. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? And then I'm also gonna have three servings of cereal, right? And then like a cup of almond milk to hit my macros perfectly. And I'm not gonna have that with this meal just because it's gonna be way too much carbs for me as a type one diabetic. I'm gonna have to take way too much insulin for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out. In like an hour, I'm gonna have this or like an hour and a half because guys, honestly, I'm gonna be up all night. Like I have so much stuff to do. And you know, this is why I'm doing this vlog just to showcase my life. But I'm probably gonna get up to like five in the morning, six in the morning, doing a ton of work. And uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down. I'm gonna talk to you guys about something like super serious and something that really needs to be said in the fitness community. All right, so check it out, guys. A lot of you might be like, hold up, wait up, Basile. Like all these fitness YouTubers tell me that you need to be, you know, taking away a ton of carbs and like, you know, fats out of your diet for the day to make up for the calories for your alcohol consumption. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, I'm hitting my macros to the exact point. 325 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat, and 200 grams of protein. Like, why are you not subtracting 50, 75 grams of carbs and like 10, 20 grams of fat out of your diet to make up for the calories and the alcohol? Well, hear me out here, guys. That's because I apply the strategies and tips that I am telling you when I go out to drink with my friends and like, you know, have a good ass time socially. I had what, four, five shots of liquor. That's around like 250, maybe at most 300 calories and at the end of the day my body composition is not going to completely change due to a few shots of liquor coming from alcohol and its own separate entity of calories and like so many people man they take this so serious and they all think about the now like they all think about that oh my god i'm gonna go over like 200 calories worth of just because of this like liquor i'm drinking and you know this is gonna screw me over for the rest of my diet and the rest of my physique and my cutting phase right they don't think about the later like like the long-term effect of what your decision right now 
now might do to you later. Let's say for me, I subtracted 75 grams of carbs out of my diet today, like 10, 20 grams of fat, you know, to make up for the room for the liquor and the alcohol that I had earlier tonight. Well, guess what? Tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up pretty freaking damn hungry. And then I might successfully hit my macros all day that day, you know, be super strict. The next day, maybe I'll hit them all, you know, successfully. And then day after, like I'm still kind of suffering from that day where I went way under on my macros, right? And then I might just binge, call on the white flag and just like, you know, eat 3,000, 4,000 calories and just set myself back a few days. So, so many people, when they like subtract calories, you know, if you take my advice, by the way, then you're sharing on this. If you're still drinking like a behemoth 10, 20 shots, thousand two thousand calories worth of beer then this is not gonna work for you but if you're taking my advice that I'm telling you on drinking and going out you know having a fucking life living the way you want to live like you know having a social life then you don't have to do that because you're gonna be you know on your macros today on your regular macros tomorrow essentially gonna take one tiny step back today by not taking away you know subtracting calories and then you're just gonna take plenty of steps forward in the future because you're always on track versus you know taking one little step forward today by subtracting calories to make up for the drinks and then taking freaking three, four leaps back a few days later because you're binging and like fucking up on your diet. So that's just some real stuff, guys. And like not a lot of people are gonna tell you this, man. They just wanna tell you the stuff they hear by the book, you know, and what everyone else says. But that's not what this is about. Like, honestly, I wanna show you guys my life. Like, you guys are gonna see me drinking. You guys are gonna see me partying. You guys are gonna see me having fun. Like, this is all about showcasing my life that's relatable to all of you. I'm honestly tired of all this like fairy dusted, you know, sparkly bullshit on the fitness industry you know even when I get a videographer guys you guys will notice my videos are gonna say stay, stay super true to themselves it's gonna be super smooth super clear you know super cut it's not gonna be super fancy with edits like I'm just showcasing my life and hopefully that can relate to you and hopefully you can just become a better person out of it you know me putting out daily vlogs every day showing you how I eat how I train how I drink like it's just relatable to you to take one step forward in your life whether it be getting you know that better body you know that confidence that you need shit anything anything if it helps you in any sort of way that's what i'm trying to do because i want to bring that thing that's missing in fitness youtube that there was of years ago because i think that's missing right now and me as a 21 year old damn i want to bring that back as a young guy that's it turn up <laughs> now i'm gonna go ahead and eat this stuff and i really hope you all enjoy this video man all i ask of you guys is just to share my videos tell people about my journey tell them to subscribe tell a friend you know i'm gonna be working my absolute hardest on this. I know I tell you guys it's simple, structured, nothing else, but best believe I am working my ass off. It is hard work, and I would love for you guys to just show your appreciation by sharing my stuff, liking it, and telling a friend. So it would mean a lot. Subscribe for plenty of more realness. We're all about being real on this YouTube channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> my girlfriend's right behind the camera. She's like, okay. just freaking eat already. <laughs> Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for St. Patty's Day. It's gonna be an epic vlog. There's gonna be a little bit of drinking involved. There's gonna be a lot of training involved. There's gonna be a lot of hitting macros involved. We out. Peace.